Three, two, one. Go! Uh, welcome everyone! We are the Grin Brothers. And let me get my 360 controller started up. And we're playing Hexic, apparently. A game I've never actually played. I have no idea what this is and no idea how it works. And apparently there was an update that was needed, but then we decided to not do the update for whatever reason. I guess because that would have taken time. I guess I must have accidentally included a space there, because... Oh well, oh well. Um, yeah, um... Is this multiplayer? Oh, you just rotate? Okay, is is it multiplayer? I don't know. I couldn't see a multiplayer mode, so... Oh, so once again, I am uh, just watching around. To be fair, you already finished your one thing you had left to talk about, and that was Digimon. Or to, uh, during when we were recording earlier. So to be fair, you can always talk about Digimon Season 5. Data Squad is good, especially because it's... You know, not season four. Yeah, it's after season four. Was so. it that called Frontier? Was it? Did you want Frontier or? Yeah. A little worrying that I could remember that off the top of my head. Whereas this is Digimon Data Squad. Yeah. Uh, it's well, this isn't. This is Hexic. But no, this you know. is Digimon Data Squad. <coughs> Only a scrub wouldn't recognise to clear Digimons in this. Yeah, bit. you can clearly see Marcus punching these Hexic blocks. They're Digimon. They are. It's. It's obvious that this is a very b b visually boring game. You just decided to put on. For, I don't know when editing. I first from fireworks. I'm um, actually throwing a picture for some reason with your editing program blocks everything, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm so, um, entering like a deep trance. <laughs> I'm just losing. Just just change the color of the screen if you can. Um, make everything tinted pink or something. I'm losing my ability to think slowly. That's how I play these games. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could have relieved you with some co-op play, but there is none. Digimon Data Squad is uh, significantly better, although its art style completely changed. You thought you were watching Totally Spies, it, didn't you? Yeah, it does look... <coughs> you can't argue, it does look no, like it Totally does, Spies. No, it does, it um, does. It's very kind of jarring to go from, but at the same time... Yeah, my other option is to watch more Frontier, so... No, you could... Well... It, it's not a problem watching at all, really. I mean, you, you're you're usually playing a game as you watch these videos, anyway. Yeah. And they're on the screen you're not even looking at. You're just listening to them, effectively. And you, you've turned the whole of Digimon into a podcast. I've turned everything... Actually, to be fair, I actually sat and watched some episodes. I've been watch actually watching Data Squad episodes, which is probably... Well, to be fair... One of them involved watching Marcus try to try to a train. Yeah, a boat. Sorry, try to try to fight a boat. He did fight a boat. <laughs> kind of. And he punches a ghost. Yeah. Level up. The problem is we've got the volume so low that I don't think that's going to be picking up and recording. So this is literally just them watching us move some hexing blocks. <laughs> I level as up though. You talk. I I. I leveled up. I've made another one of these things. <laughs> Stars are now appearing <coughs> in the. Uh... There is so much on screen at once. Do you know? But I'm not sure what any of it means. Do you know what it reminds me of? What? When the uh, Game Grumps did um. Chess. No, recently. I say recently. It's not really recently anymore. They did a uh, Grumpcade. Yeah. Of hit and run. Simpsons hit and run. Yeah, but they like turn off all the sound effects and music. Why would they do that? So it was just voices. None of the cars made any noise. It was just like this dark void. It was hilarious. <laughs> Why? Because it was funny. This is what it reminds <coughs> me of. <coughs> also, kind of reminds me of, unfortunately, um. Sega Tennis. Oh, yeah, with its lack of any sound. Yeah, it's the same kind of... Void. Uh, uh, watching you play this puzzle game, I guess it reminds me of... Well, you have Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah, I've got Puyo Puyo Tetris. I've yet to even go on the single pl story mode because I wanted to get somewhat good at it, but then I realised I suck at Puyo Puyo Tetris. I'm better at it than I was Robotics Mean Bean Machine because it's not, it's not as hard. cruel. But apparently I am so terrible at Tetris that I keep getting my ass handed to me each time I try to do the Tetris gameplay. I've yet to even try out the Fusion gameplay. 
but I'm trying... I've basically recorded two videos now. My first match, which I somehow won, of Poyo Poyo. I did a thing. And my second match, I've basically again... recorded two videos now. My first match, which I somehow won, of Poyo Poyo. I did a thing. And my I did a match, thing. And my second match against a normal level CPU as I played Poyo Poyo. And I've recorded both of these. I'm probably going to upload them. Like, I'm considering uploading them as like a weird random mini video where I analyse just how I managed to win these. So I can understand what am I apparently doing right in these matches. Whereas like the four or five other times I've played these sort of versus matches I've apparently failed at. Because I've been able to beat the computers when they're on very easy and easy, but normal, they've still got to get difficult, particularly with Tetris, where I've been slaughtered every time. Like, apparently I just wasn't able to put up any fight there. There's a there's a lot I need to discover before I even decide to go in the story mode. For all I know, the story mode could start off really easy, you know, like a game should do. And won't just immediately throw me into the fire. Heck, you might even have a difficulty option so I could play through the entire game on easy and actually win. But what if it's difficult, the option is akin to <coughs> Bomberman. Into what? Akin to Bomberman. Oh. Where all your experience well, is hell. I'm, I'm never going to end up getting very far in Poyo Poyo Tetris. Admittedly, I, you know, I, might, I bought it for uh, various reasons. One was because I've always wanted to try a, a proper Damn. Poyo Poyo game. And another being the I kind of want to send a message to Nintendo to, hey, you know, you should really support... Uh, your puzzle franchise you actually have you know maybe reintroduce it actually bring it worldwide that's a lot yeah <laughs> beware of bombs each move you make causes a bomb to count down use the <coughs> cluster before its counter reaches zero or it's game over mm. okay this is truly thrilling it's not even got any characters on the side at least at point point touches you've got some really nice character artworks on the side um, someone's actually pointed out because you get to change what the Poyo Poyos and the Tetris blocks are hmm. um, and you can unlock more sort of designs for them and one of the designs you know the old sort of Sonic the Hedgehog sort of logo emblems for the characters where you'd have the completely blue Sonic's head the completely red Knuckles head yeah and all that they've got those for Poyo Poyos Oh, that's cool. So someone's pointing out, technically, this means that Puyo Puyo Tetris is the first Switch game where Sonic's appeared on it. Oh. I guess they're not wrong. Mm. I'm still disappointed that Satan is called Dark Prince in uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris, because the, if the Sonic mobile game could get away with having it Satan, and le in leading to Eggman's wonderful line of, Thanks to my new pal Satan here! Which is a good line. I will stop a Sonic and his friends from meddling with me. Can't really argue that is a good line. Eggman, Satan, stop! I think <laughs> it, doesn't, it wouldn't even surprise me if Sonic said that in a normal Sonic game. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Satan, stop. It's, it's just a normal day for Sonic. <laughs> I'm also sorry that I decided to play this game. <laughs> you went from Peggle uh, to Hexic. I'm going to apologise to everyone for this. Um, <laughs> I believe I've entered a form of hell as punishment for this. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Raph, um, we 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 established that fairly quickly. I want to talk about Data Squad. But this game has drained me of the emotional will and ability to do anything. Well, if we're talking about things that drain people of their will, we could talk about fake grass. Fake grass is stupid. But... Yeah, our brother has decided to replace his grass in his garden. Oh, there's a bomb up there. For fake grass. It's grass that's not real. It's he... made of plastic. Yes, Liam, that is the definition of fake grass. I think most people would have got that from fake grass. <laughs> yeah. But he's replacing his regular grass in his garden where grass grows, which he had a garden filled with grass with fake grass. So he's replacing grass with grass, except the grass isn't real. And he had us over doing a bunch of work, moving sand and all that and dirt and shoveling up and all that. Okay, yeah, he had you. me around doing that. He didn't have you. I was at work. Yeah. I think. Probably. Um, just to sort out fake grass I mean it was, a, it was a fairly entertaining time because I got to watch my brother actually do work which is always amusing um, 
And I was very quick-witted that day. Sadly, I can't... F watching you play Hexic is draining me of every bit of talent I had for my quick wit. It's making me slow in the mind. But you're not the one playing it. <laughs> I'll play Sonic 06 after this. <laughs> Are you wanting to just, you know, destroy all form of intellect we've got? That game gives me more of a will to live than this. Oh well, yeah. It's not even a bad game, I just don't... I don't know, something about it seems to be... You mean Hexic? Draining me of... Yeah, my Sonic 06 isn't a bad game. It's just something about it's draining me of my will to live. No, this game. <laughs> this game is draining yeah. me of my will to live. I, I'm aware. I don't... Don't fully grasp why, <laughs> but it is. Well, we've gone on for ten, almost as long as Peggle, but at least I, that had I, an end. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want. <coughs> I want to try and break these silver ones. Uh, spin him. Do that as your last objective. Keep spinning. What do you them. think I've been doing, Liam? What can you not move him? It is. Spin. They're getting no closer to death. Can you only spin like once or? Well, no, if you spin something that's not compatible with spinning, it just does that. Oh. And resets to the neutral position. Oh, I thought you were doing that on purpose. No. Okay, that makes sense. Stop you just moving things wherever you desire. Fair enough. Oh, oh no. another bomb. Um, oh no. That one started off as an 8 instead of a 9. Uh, speaking of which, um. You please do something. I, uh. am no longer at work, sort of. Because I finally finished the job that I was on, which for some reason I was brought in for every single day of it. Um, and there's a big period I'm gonna be where I'm without any work at all. Hopefully I'll get another job. You know, before I have to return to working on a building site. But even when I do get to return to the building site, on the next job that Dad currently has, uh, apparently there's not going to be a lot of work for me to do. Luckily, I saved up a ton of money, enough to buy everyone's birthday and Christmas presents, which I've already started. Uh, bought my nephew's present, which is a cat toy. It's a little cat laser, because he keeps picking up my cat's cat to laser toy and carrying it around with him. On the advantage, on the good side of things, though, this one's actually handheld, so you can actually carry it about with him. Oh, it is. Um, oh. Other things I got in terms of birthday sort of things. Uh, Mum's unfortunately already seen it, but I've got a bunch of card stuffs from the Twilight Kingdom luxury card collections, as well as some paper pads to go along with it. They're close. Found some purple ones. Ooh, almost. And, uh, yeah, again, I got some Twilight Kingdom stuff, uh, unicorns and moonlights of imagery and castles and trees. And, uh, I also got Hello. present. What, oh, sorry, Kyrus's present. You can remove that if you want. Do I have to? It's only his first name, so it shouldn't be a problem. You don't also, have to. Also, if you hadn't specified who, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Well, so. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't make much of a difference. It's only his first name. And it's Hexic. Who's going to go yeah. out their way to watch a Hexic? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to have to watch this to make sure it's right. I'm going to have to edit it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to watch it to name it. And uh, this <gasps> is this is why I got Kyrus. Hold on, more important Hold things on. are happening. Yay! Cool. He fu yeah, we can end. But, yeah, and I got these uh, little things. A uh, teacup candle oh, cute. and an ice cream sundae candle. They look tasty. I'd eat them. Yeah. I'll just quit the game, by the way. I didn't even <laughs> quit it through in-game methods. I just left. <laughs> well, um, I hope you enjoyed over 14 minutes worth of... Uh, Dexic. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>